So in today's tutorial, we're gonna be making an AI controller that can patrol, chase and attack. It will look something like this. The most important part is that this code is very easy to understand, implement and to add to. So you can add whatever you would like to your game. So in here I added a basic cube plane for my level. I also added my player, so we're gonna go right ahead and add a capsule to our scene and it's gonna act as our enemy. You can put any model here, it will not affect the controller whatsoever. We're gonna add the rigid body component to it as well as the nav mesh agent. So after that go to window, AI and then navigation. Click on your floor or the area where you intend your enemy to walk on and then go to bake and click bake then your floor will be covered in blue like this and that is enough for now now go into scripts and create an ai controller script now i'm going to go step by step in explaining what certain code does to make you understand as clearly as possible in the header first add using unityengine.ai this is gonna help us with accessing the nav mesh agent now add these variables they are pretty self-explanatory these next ones are for the enemy view angles and radiuses. You'll understand later, but you'll able to change them in the inspector whenever you'd like and however you'd like. And we need waypoints for the patrol points. And we need a couple of bowls. Now in the store function we will initialize our variables. Now we'll start with creating our methods. Called player is only going to return the variable to true looking player and the parameter is going to be a vector3 player and that vector3 is the last known position of the player. The enemy will then go to that position and then return to the patrol state but to finish this we need to make a move method. We just need to set the nav mesh agent's speed and make sure he doesn't stop. We can then continue with our looking player method. But we also need a stop method, so that method is only going to stop the enemy movement. Now we're gonna create a method for our enemy to go to next point or the next waypoint. So we have to set the current waypoint to the next and we'll do that by adding the plus one and then setting the nav mesh destination to that point and that's pretty much it. Now we need the environment view method. This method will allow our enemy to have the ability to see us. It's basically a view method. We'll make it so that it can see the player and the obstacles. The first line makes a sphere around the enemy to detect player mask and then when the player is in the radius of vision, save the player's position. And this kinda explains itself, we're calculating the distance to the player and the angle and the angle in which our enemy can see the player and in the else statement we're checking if the player is behind an obstacle and the player position will not be registered. So by that setting we're actually giving advantage to players that are going in between the obstacles trying to hide from enemies and blocking their line of sight. It's pretty cool. And if the player is further than the view radius, then the enemy will no longer keep the player's current position. Now we have everything ready for the two big ones. We'll start with the patrolling method. We first have to check if the enemy is near the player. If it is, enemy will move to that position. And then we set the enemy's destination to the next point. When the enemy reaches the waypoint, wait a bit and then move on to the next one. And that pretty much concludes the patrolling. Now we move on to chasing method. We set the destination to the player's location and then we check if the enemy reached the stopping distance. In here we check if the enemy is not near the player, if it's not, wait for a bit and then return to patrolling.
And finally, in the update, we check if the player is in enemy's vision and we set the chase and patrol methods. Now back in Unity, create a player and an obstacle layer and place them in the AI controller script layer masks. Also, if you add a couple of cubes as obstacles and then add the obstacle layer to them and bake the navigation, our enemy will go around the cubes as if it's an obstacle. Now when we start our game, you can see that our enemy is patrolling and if we enter its line of view, he starts chasing us. And if we manage to get away, he will wait for a bit and then return to patrol. Here's a few examples of how this all works. Uh, you can upgrade this script and add the enemy that can chase you with animations. He can start hitting you and have some combos of its own. It's a really, really simple script, but a really useful one. I suggest you, if you don't know anything about AI controlling, download this script, use this script as a something to start on. And if you want something more, build on it. It's really easy to build on it since it's not a long script. And yeah, it's a co really cool script and you can use it for all sorts of things. And now if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. We are really close to that 50 subscriber mark and it will mean the absolute world for me. Also check out my other tutorials and videos. This week I'll upload two videos, so be on the lookout for another video in a day or two. And if you have any, any questions on what you would like to see, uh, maybe some tutorials, maybe some interesting videos, make sure you leave it down in the comments below. Also, you can download the script in the descriptions on my Discord. I have all my scripts there from all of my tutorials. Make sure you're subscribed to the Discord so you can join in on our conversations and be part of this community. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.